tell me real fast, you want to, and, and if I'm wrong, tell me, you want to take icebergs from Antarctica and you want to somehow get them to South Africa and provide fresh drinking water, yeah? Correct. So, okay, so I have a lot of questions. My first question is, how do you get icebergs to South Africa without them melting? Okay, so every year you've got about 2,000 billion tons of icebergs that actually fracture off Antarctica and drift around the Southern Ocean. Of that, a large proportion drift towards the Cape. Uh, so they actually come up as far as uh, one-third away from Cape Town and two-thirds away from Antarctica after a couple of years of being at sea. So they, they actually come in our way, and then they hit a very strong current called the Agulhas Current, which actually pushes them further south, and they miss South Africa and the South Australia and New Zealand. We, we're going to uh, capture them at that junction where they, just before they get uh, impacted by the uh, Agulhas Current, so that's a place in the Southern Ocean called Gough Island, and that's uh, about 1,200 nautical miles or 2,000 kilometers from the Cape. And we're going to just guide them into a different current system. So uh, these icebergs will be about 100 million tons, roughly. That's, uh, <laughs> that's, a, a, that's a very big ice cube. How do you, how do you move such yeah. a big, big thing? Yeah, so we're going to wrap it in a geotextile skirt first, and that will give it some thermal insulation to reduce the and slow down the melt rate. And then we'll put like a fishing net towing system around the back of it all the way to the front, and then we'll have... Uh, a super tanker and two very large ocean gain tugs and they will just help guide and alter course for the uh, iceberg into the next current system. So now with satellite tracking we know where, this, where the icebergs are and with satellite tracking we're actually monitoring and you can actually see the swirls in the currents and that will uh, give us information of how to alter course to get into the next system. So the currents will do 99% of the work we're just going to guide it into the different current system, and that comes to Cape Town. So, has this ever, ever, ever been attempted before? No. Years ago, they were trying to look at harnessing Arctic icebergs from Newfoundland and guiding them towards the Canaries in North Africa. But an Arctic iceberg is not the same as an Antarctic iceberg. Uh, Arctic icebergs have far more saltwater content, so they actually have uh, impurities, and those impurities fracture and the iceberg then rolls over as it loses stability. The Antarctic icebergs are tabular, so they look like a dining room table. Uh, just the top of the table, above the water, and all the legs is the block underneath the water. But they are pure, pure water, very solid. Uh, the core temperature is about 20 degrees lower than an Arctic iceberg. So these are the strongest of the icebergs that have been at sea for about three years, where they get to our target location. And uh, we're going to guide them into the Benguela current, and that will come just off the Cape Coast. And these are, these are very, I mean, icebergs have been around. How, how old is this water that you're, you're going to take from these icebergs? It's very old, yeah? Yeah, yeah, we, uh, we're talking about thousands of years old. So it's the purest water on Earth. Um, there's a lot of medical research people that have been contacting us that would like to get access to this water to uh, analyze it for potential medical uh, use. But from our point of view, the main thing is to, to try and find an alternative water supply that we don't have in the Cape, because if we have another dry winter, uh, we're going to be in crisis next year. So this is something that you wouldn't want to plan as a long-term solution, because it has never been done. But certainly, uh, it, if we can do it, then it gives you 130 to 150 million liters of water a day for a whole year from one iceberg. It's amazing. And I know if you were to just bottle this water, there are a lot of dumb white people in America like me that would totally buy it. Oh yeah. I mean, we, we can actually <laughs> deliver it to, yeah, we deliver it to the Cape for uh, roughly two, three dollars for a thousand leases. So wow. you know, we're looking at, uh, you know, this is something that technically we think is possible, but economically it's viable as well. And, uh, you know, Africa can't afford the uh, the price of spring water that's bottled, but certainly in bulk from an iceberg, uh, I think they'll have uh, access to water. We can get the go ahead with this. That's amazing. So, when is the plan to move the the first iceberg? Do you have a plan? Yeah. So basically, I've just had meetings this morning. In, I'm here in Paris uh, with uh, Georges Mugon, 
and Professor Olev uh, uh, Orheim. And George is a, a French engineer, he, a doctor of engineering. He's been working on iceberg transportation for almost 40 years. And Professor Olaf has been head of the Norwegian Polar Expedition for 25, 30 years. So they are the two sort of key global experts on Antarctic ice and the movement of ice. So over the last 30 years, there wasn't the information from satellites to say exactly where the, sat the icebergs would be or the information on the ocean currents in the Southern Ocean. Um, now that we have this, we're having a seminar in Cape Town in 10 days on the 16th, 17th of May. And we hope that uh, within the next two months, we get the go ahead. Uh, we've got some potential investors lined up and it will take us about six, seven months to prepare. So by Easter, we should have the first iceberg in Cape Town. Well, that is fascinating. I love this idea. Uh, it is Captain Nick Sloan going to move icebergs from Antarctica to South Africa, where you've got a water shortage. And, and I think that's an incredible idea. And, and I hope everything works out for you. Good luck. Yeah, thanks very much, Brent. And uh, thanks for your, for your interest.